Welcome to the Jewel training video on Make General Journal Entry. To access this feature in Jewel, you would select Accounting and Make General Journal Entry. In just a moment, a tip box will pop up reminding us that there is only a very narrow window of options where you want to use gener make general journal entry. Primarily, it's important to remember you do not want to record offering deposits through this option. You don't want to record transfers. That includes transfers between bank accounts or transfers between two local church funds such as Sabbath school uh, expense and cradle roll expense. There is a transfer option for doing that. You don't want to record checks. While it would appear on the check report, you would not have any payee and you would not, you would lose the ability to sort by payee if you were to record checks. Likewise, you don't want to record debit purchases, as in debit card purchases. Now, we recommend that you do not have any debit card attached to your checking account, but should you have a separate account set up for debit card purpose only, this is not where you would record debit card purchases because, again, you would not be able to search by payee. You especially do not want to record NSF check reversals through general journal entry. Jewel has a special feature. There is a training video on how to record NSF check reversals. Budget allocations should again not be done here because budget allocations are actually transfers between local church funds. And while bank reconciliation has the option, actually a shortcut to general journal entry, it's best to make those, to record those things such as interest and bank fees through the bank reconciliation screen rather than coming here to make general journal entry. There is now a separate training video on non-offering income. This is primarily the time that you want to utilize general journal entries. Once you understand when not to use general journal entry, you can select don't show this tip and say OK. That way when you are posting those non-offering income deposits, you won't have to deal with that tip box. Before signing off on this training video, I wanted to add a word of explanation about why it's important not to enter offering deposits or NSF check reversals using the General Journal Entry option. The General Journal accesses only the part of the Jewel database that affects the bank balance. It does not access the contribution entry module. Therefore, items posted through general journal entry will be reflected on the bank balance, but they will not be reflected on the year-end donor receipts. So if a donor has written you a check and you have posted it in Jewel through the offering entry screen, and then if you were to put the NSF check reversal in as a general journal entry, it would reduce your bank balance, but it would not reduce the donor's year-end receipt appropriately. So be sure to limit the use of general journal entry to non-offering income. Beyond that, check with your auditor before you choose to use general journal entry for any other purpose.